Aloha. I uh, wanted to do one more quick video uh, follow up in reference to the last video and tie it into the um, recent videos I did in reference to um, Eric Dubay, not specifically him, but just use his approach as an example of the difference between uh, a battle and a war. That's what this video, want, I want to focus this video on, is to distinguish between the differences of a battle and a war. And what flat earth, <clears throat> excuse me, or the, um, the energy of flat earth, the, the unveiling of the roots of being lied to about the very nature of the the place that you live upon, the, the plane of existence, your, your existence, your humanity, being told that you're a monkey, being told that you're living on a ball, floating in a vast space of nothingness, uh, coming from a big explosion of nothingness, being brought together by a theory of nothingness, and now having an entire so-called civilization being built upon destruction, death, massacres, genocides, colonization, sickness and disease, which is another layer of nothingness. There is no humanity there. And when I reference the small potatoes of the Zionist program, not to take away from the extreme manipulation that groups like them have in this entire battle for uh, the separation of humanity from the balances of nature. But to more expand upon how deep this story goes, a lot of people in the comment sections have difficulty seeing the, the bigger pictures that I'm addressing when I spread them out over so many videos, but really when I, <clears throat> a lot of the times when I reference the colonial program and reference how important the, uh, the differences that we, the diversity that, that is used to against us. So the differences that are used against us, like the differences of the way you dance, the way you speak, the way you think, the way you dress, those are used against you when stuff like the mainstream media is in existence. So when you have something that says, no, this is the right way to be, this is the right way to express civilization, which is the mainstream idea of civilization, pumped through all the news, all the movies, all of your programs, that's not just to tell you how to be. That's how to tell you how to think about other people who are not like that. At the same time, as you look down upon other people who are not like that, who are not like you, instead of recognizing the differences and the, um, the similarities, the roots of the similarities <clears throat> and cherishing the differences. That's what happens. That, that's what doesn't happen when you're locked into a particular way of observing your reality, like the mainstream media, like the mainstream way of life. We lose track of that because we've anchored ourselves in a, a, a frame of thought that is not our own. <clears throat> it is a synthetic root system that is designed to maintain separation, it's designed to maintain uh, distraction, control, insecurity, and an imbalanced form of in interpreting your reality when you see all of this patriarchal programming, the beating down of the divine feminine, the destroying of the divine masculine, the destroying of the family structure, the destroying of cultures. People see this, <clears throat> excuse me, and say, and still want to so-called save this civilization, the Western civilization. This is what I'm saying is the difference between a battle and a war. 
We are not in any more battles. Once you completely rip up the infrastructure of the very nature of the earth in which you live, the deception that goes down to the very nature of the earth which you live upon, once you rip that up, there are no more battles. There is only the removing of the war. This is what I'm saying is so important to realize when people see something as deep as the deception of the heliocentric model goes and then focusing your energy on one particular bad guy instead of realizing the entire bad guy program. Yes, the Zionists have their, <clears throat> excuse me, have their hands all the way within Hollywood, the politics, the war, the military industrial complex, the prison industrial complex. They have their little tentacles everywhere. Is that the only program out there? No, that is one battle that is going, that is part of the bigger war for humanity. This is about power. The Zionists are one faction of that power. So when I see one of the largest YouTube channels in relation to so-called flat earth unveiling, focusing all of their energy only on the Zionist program, not to say that it's wrong for you to only do that. What I'm saying is that for people who have the ability to think outside of that limitation, please do so because that is only a battle. And I heard on Infinite Infinite Play said this once before. He said, if you're going to point the finger, if you're going to remove all of the Zionists from this program, will the system go away? No, it won't. Because this is not about one faction. This is about the entire war. And that's why I said in the last video, <clears throat> excuse me, it's very important to realize the, the relationship that you have to yourself, the relationship that you have to nature, the relationship that you have to your culture, your people, the, the, the experience as a whole and trace it back to its roots. That's how you disassemble this separation program, which is the war where all these battles are fought upon. All of these battles are fought upon a globe earth. All of these battles are fought within the war separating the masses, the mass consciousness from their humanity, which is why everything is focused on the fight or flight, the fear mentality, the insecurity programs, the power grid, the patriarchal program, the colonial program. All of this stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, is based upon separating you from that which you already are. So once you reconnect with that which you already are, that will inherently remove the power from this illusory power grid. So when you start to reconnect with your humanity, when you start to understand the definitions of humanity and the lack definitions of the lack of humanity, which is what this entire synthetic program is based upon, that is when you start addressing the war. If you are only pointing your fingers at bad guys, you are only perpetuating the same mentality of the synthetic programming that keeps you from removing the infrastructure of the war itself. In order for the war to maintain, the battles need to be instigated. This Zionist pointing fingers, this cabal pointing figures, fingers, this Illuminati, this Trump pointing fingers, this is all battle work. These are individual battles that are inflamed by people like Alex Jones in InfoWars who says, we're all about the Americana. Trump is a diehard Americana. He's a true American. He's trying to save the people from the globalists. That is is a, a perfect example of somebody fighting a battle that is within an illusion of a war. 
it is not the entire war. It is now. This is what I'm saying. All of these battles need to be fought in order to see where the war actually originates. What I'm saying now is for the free thinkers, for the people who are talking outside of the boxes of the heliocentric war program. We have to start generating deeper root structures that will start to heal the wounds that have added up to what we are experiencing today that inflame the battles. A lot of people are fighting right now or, or saying things right now in, in response to the battle scars that they have from this system. You can do that forever. You can, you can create that, pro, that program forever. Is that going to address the war itself? No, ultimately it'll still be within a box, a, a battle box. So until we get out of the battle box, we're still going to be, you know, fighting these these little um, systems that actually make the box bigger. So, like I said in the previous video, I actually respect what Eric DeBay is doing. I even respect what Alex Jones is doing, giving that. It's hard for me to actually say that for Alex Jones because I know he knows exactly. I know he knows, just like Joe Rogan, I know he knows exactly what he's doing. But like I said in the in the video before that, um, th these people are doing, it's even hard for me to say that, they're doing the best that they can. If that sleazy ass mentality is the best that you can do, then, I mean, and at least it's not, you know, coming down on everybody else like a like a George Soros like a um like these people behind the scenes these these people and even people deeper than that people behind the scenes that pull these strings the 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 quieter it gets the further up the pyramid you get the the uh the more they are in the know of how deep this program goes so <clears throat> like i said Starting addressing uh, Eric DeBay and talking about his pointing fingers at the Zionist program. That's not to take away from all the other work that he's done. That's not to take away from, that's not to make any implications on what he is or what he's doing. That's just to put use him as an example. He's out there. He's a public figure. So if a public figure has his hands in the same workflow that I have my hands in, then I'm going to share my perspective on how that is. Uh, just as easily as people in the comment section share whatever perspective they have on me. I don't, I'm not concerned with that because I know where my intentions are. I know where my heart is. I know where my, my focus is. And people who know me or people who, who follow the information I put out, I put out, they know at the same time too. So what I'm saying is that everybody is fighting many battles from their own perspectives. And once you start to win the bulk, the majority of those battles, then that's when you start to see the, the battles for the war. You see the war that's existing. People have to, in order to even challenge or and even even to start to question their reality outside of the heliocentric model. They have to, to fight battles with themselves. Listen to these live streams when you have the globe heads go on and start talking about whatever it is they talk about. They don't even know how to say, I don't know. They don't know how to say, um, hey, maybe that, that looks garbage. Hey, you have a point there. Man, I never thought about that. They, that's a battle people are fighting that is largely based in the synthetic ego. It's based upon the the illusions that have been conditioned over many years, sometimes even decades for people, um, all the way from childhood. So it's going to take some time. And like I said, there are so many different, you can see these sections that people are... Uh, clearing out of their reality, like all of the, the conspiracy stories, all of the 
the, the distractions that we were focused on so many times. You can see that as like a battle. People fight those battles and sometimes those they lose those battles and just wear that density as part of their reality and say, oh, yeah, well, you know, we still kind of we I still believe we live on a globe. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, and they get into that weird sort of uh, uh, space and you're just like, what the hell are you talking about? We can say that now, but at the same time. We were doing that in the beginnings of looking into the flat earth information of that whole, I don't know, it's just kind of, it's, that's a damn, that, that's an actual mind control conditioning program that each person is going to have to get through on their own. That goes for any conspiracy theories. That's go, that goes for everything. Every single thing out there that exists is going to have to happen in its own way, in its own time. And that's up to the individual, not anybody else. The only thing that we can do is provide information, provide our presence, and and just just be there for them during this process while they fight these battles because it's not about the battles it's about the war the war for humanity that's where the power is this power grid is based upon sucking the life out of your soul body your psychological body and your physical body you see this with the food the water You see this with the military industrial complex, the prison industrial complex, the genocide, the massacres, the colonial program, the the news, the mainstream media locks down your psyche, the, the education system, the university system locks down your psyche, locks down your so called future creations, locks down everything in and around you connecting with your higher mind, your body has not just your brain mind, but you have a stomach mind, your core, your solar plexus taps into all of your energy centers is a mind of its own. It's a, it's a power grid that's no different than like the symbolism of like animal spirits. When you start looking into the, the indigenous relationships to nature and when they see animal totems, that actually has a meaning. Each energy center that you have, that you exist as, is a meaning when you when you're when you're sick in a certain way it means something when you you can you can trace these origins back so this system is just like the healthcare industry it needs to make it needs to have sick people so the the heliocentric model is a way to keep people sick physically psychologically and spiritually and as long as people are sick they can make a profit off of your disease. So there's a profit-making industry off of cancer, off of um, the AIDS program, off of these vaccines, off of the psychological disease of keeping people dumb in that one-degree program and and the the confinement of the, the similarities between the prison system and the public education system. It's all about conformity. It's all about getting you ready for the job industry. And once you're so locked into the survival program, which is the the basis, your connection to this earth itself, that's when they got you by the balls, pretty much. They got you. You can't go anywhere because you're locked in to your basic human needs. That's where I was. That's where I'm coming from when I say this is about the war. It's not about the battles. If you find yourself pointing fingers and narrowing everything down to only one faction of the war, only one battle of the war, that's when you're creating another distraction. You're creating another separation from people actually being able to address the war. This is why I called out Eric Dubay, and he actually responded in a comment talking about I'm way off, you know, with my video and so on and so forth. You know what? Say whatever it is you're going to say about that. But what I'm saying is that you could possibly have a limited perspective. The all-knowingness of 
uh, people like Alex Jones or the all-knowingness of Eric DeBay isn't the end-all, be-all perspective of all realities. A- Alex Jones talking about Donald Trump becoming president is going to be the best thing. It happened. Is it the best thing? No, shit gets worse because he's a part of that program. If the Zionists completely get pointed out for all the bullshit that they've been perpetrating this in for over generations is everything going to get better no it won't so what are you really talking about here now to focus in on what you're really talking about now for a moment is that important to realize yes because people as long as these battles keep getting inflamed as they are culture and the relationship with these roots that actually allows you to get to the war, it becomes inhibited. So, <clears throat> and the distraction becomes inflamed. So, yes, it is important to this. Is why I said I respect people like Eric DeBay who share this information. What I'm saying is that if you focus, if you pigeonhole yourself into that perspective and you do not grow out of that perspective, you will be creating another limitation program knowingly or unknowingly. That's not my, I don't, I'm not concerned about that. That's not my concern whether this, these people are knowingly or unknowingly engaging in limitation programs. I'm not concerned with that. I'm, my concern is to, or my focus is to share information to allow people to think on their own. Think for yourself. Stop thinking based upon what Neil deGrasse Tyson, Bill Nye, and these so-called professors in this university system, stop thinking like they tell you to think. This, this is what the conformity system of the public education system is designed to do, to make you shut down your mind, shut down your higher mind. Shut down your physical body with the mainstream food, which is why Bill Nye is telling you GMOs are okay when they're banned in 19 other countries in Europe. And that, you know, um, his Save the World show talking about sex junk, that's to separate you, to lock you down into this materialistic version of reality and lock you away from um the deeper, the the divine nature of your existence to lock you out of your soul. So just as like I, I kind of got off course when I was listing off the ways we are separated from or the sicknesses and the diseases of the body and the mind, you have the spiritual diseases of mainstream religions, which locks, locks you into an indoctrination program based upon another person person or group of people telling you how to think, telling you how to be, telling you how to act, telling you how to live. Is that wrong? No, not completely. There's, so I said, there's, there's information in the Bible that's beautiful. Does that mean you don't look at all the other stuff that's just garbage? No, you have to look at everything take the actual essence it's like looking at symbolism or um, a metaphor or something looking at it and getting the knowledge out of it getting the the essence from what that information is once you turn that the information delivery system into an idol like the Bible, like these mainstream religions, like the Pope, like all of these other idolistic symbols and people and things that are out there, once you turn it in, that's when you completely lose focus. And that's when you start to actually inflame the battles that are fought within yourself. And that's where that's where the sickness and disease gets to grow and expand and evolve into a a deeper layer of distraction because we're not addressing the war. We're only focusing on this ridiculous nature of uh, a faction of the war called a battle. So 
there's so many things that are shifting. People are, it's hard enough for people to even fight the battles in relationships. People are in relationships right now, flat earth and heliocentric, somebody a flat earther, somebody a heliocentric. That's a battle right there. And that battle is being fought by each individual. You know, how is this going to, how <clears throat> it, it could, because you're really talking about the expansion of the mind and the expansion of questioning your reality. And that really gets into the relationship as a whole, the relationship between you and your partner. So once these relationships start to, that what, once these relationships start to have a rally point um, to focus on, all of these little battles that you didn't know exist start to float to the surface. And if you have a strong relationship and if you have strong people in those relationships, then you can fight those battles together. If you act like those battles don't exist, it the, it, the war will only get worse. It's a cold war that happens. <laughs> and so you, you start to engage in a cold war because the, the connection itself is not being addressed. The connection itself is being stressed. And that is the war. So the connection that we have as a collective is being stressed and not being addressed. That war is the relationship to nature, the relationship to our humanity, the relationship to beyond the materialistic realm, the relationship to beyond the Colombian era, the Colombian history, beyond the colonial program. Uh, the, the relationship beyond the illusions and the control and the manipulation of this patriarchal program at the expense of beating down the matriarchal program or the matriarchal balances between the patriarch, the, the, the masculine and the feminine. So these are, these are, I'm, I'm just listing off examples of, of different versions of war that uh, or battles that exist in the war that is really about connection. You already have a battle going on when you are born into the physical reality of realizing that you are not the physical body. You are not your toenails. You are not your hair. You're not your eyebrows on fleek. You're not your big ass. You're not your this. You're not your that. You're not... You're not any of that. It's in the essence of who you are. Yet this system, this society, so-called civilization, is based upon that the way you look, the way your physical reality looks. So you have to actually fight that battle in yourself to say, hey, I'm deeper than this physical reality. I'm deeper than these. This entire when you do that, you're you're actually pulling yourself out of the status quo of Western civilization, saying no, this is more. There's more to me than this. What is that? You won't know until you first fight that first battle and get out of that battle and start addressing the other battles that that hold up the foundation of that system. The battles that exist in reference to the war of the separation of humanity from humanity and in locked into the, the, the monkey program or stuff like the battle of the Big Bang battle, the, the gravity battle, the relativity battle, the heliocentric battle, the NASA battle program, um, <clears throat> the Hollywood battle, the, the political battle, the education system battle, uh, the Illuminati battle, the, the the Zionist battle, the 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 GMO battle, the the fluoridated water battle, the chemist the chemtrail battle, the um, the controlled opposition battles. These are still battles in the war that exist internally and externally. Internally, the war in order to address these wars. Because, okay, so there's there's all of these battles that exist on the collective side and the individual side. There's the war that also exists on the individual and the collective. In order to address the actual war of the collective, you have to first address the battles of yourself. Then you have to see the war, which is 
your soul, it's all your your entire experience. Wherever your balance is and your imbalances have been inflamed through your experience, that is what allows you to address the war with yourself. Once you start to realize that you're not a monkey, that you have a meaning and a purpose, that you're not limited, that you're not just some cosmic mistake, that's when you start addressing the war. And the battle the battles that people have to fight are stuff like mainstream religion, are stuff like the the political programming. Uh, like, you're, I'm a Democrat, I'm a Republican, I'm a progressive, I'm an aggressive progressive, I'm an Americana, and we, we got Donald Trump elected. Like, to even think that you, you, <laughs> that the political system, the voting system exists like that, you're already on suspect mode right there. To think that 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 election, pro to think that this system is not doing everything as planned, to think that it's not going as planned is just ignorance to the umpteenth degree. To believe in the voting system, to believe that Donald Trump got elected as if it was just some mistake that happened out of nowhere the the people of them of the united states just woke up and 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 they came together and elected donald trump oh my goodness the same thing happened with barack obama right after george bush you think it's a coincidence that you had your first black president at so-called black president after the the dumpster fire that was george w bush that just projected us into the so-called war on terrorism which is just a war to create war you think it's a mistake and then he just added to it he added to it for the next eight years that's not a mistake you didn't vote in your first black president he was put in there if you have any inkling that 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 this is a selection process not an election process why are you consuming yourself with the illusions of stuff like the first black president and uh, your American Americana president, Trump, and Alex Jones. Alex Jones exists out there to add credibility to that illusion, which is the selection process. That is why he exists. So if you're believing in him and all that Western civilization bullshit, then that's a battle you have to fight. You have, that's your, that's still an individual battle. So that's why I said all of these battles exist before you actually get to the war, before you even start to see the horizon of what the war is. You have to get out of the, the clouds of dust and explosions that are your battles. And if you don't even realize that you have a meaning and a purpose in this existence, then you're not going to face any of the battles and you sure as hell won't even know what the war is. You'll be playing a movie. You'll be playing a, a cartoon. And that's exactly where the system wants you to be in cartoon mode in, in the illusion program, because they can give you your reality at a small price at a small, uh, accessibility fee or whatever those fees that they add on with that small writing the, the the fine print in these commercials so yeah all of these battles um they need to be addressed first individually when you hear these live streams when you when you listen to these live streams and you hear the globe heads come and talk to flat people talking about flat earth you can hear the battles that they have for themselves they, they don't really trust themselves if an individual that's that's the essence of the insecurity program because they believe they're totally insecure with themselves that they feel only secure in in what others say like bill nye and neil degrasse tyson that that is their security that adds and inflames the insecurity program that maintains people fighting battles because 
That affects your time. It affects your consciousness, which affects which affects your time. So if you are subconsciously consumed fighting subconscious battles, you will never address the conscious battles because you're so damn insecure to even realize that the battles exist so far that you're defending the battles from your own realization by putting those insecurities and those e artificially egoic perspectives onto the people who are trying to help you expand outside of those that battleground this is how deep this is how all of these all of these sections that we have to clear out before we actually start to address the war so yeah, like I said, there are so many different battles that people have within their own reality that have been passed down to them by their mother and their father, their siblings, their grandparents, the society, the education system, the history books, the separation program as a whole. These battles get passed down generations upon generation. And then they tell you shit like it's in your genes. It's like, <laughs> it's like, this is in your genes. Being 300 pounds overweight is in your genes. Really? It's not at all in the McDonald's that I'm eating every day? It's not at all in the genetically modified foods that has, that's not even food that's actually banned in other countries? The fluoridated water, oh, that's for your teeth? Oh, thank, thank you, government, for... Filling my belly with fluoridated water to help my teeth. How? <laughs> You're drinking gallons of fluoridated water to make sure that your teeth. This stuff is banned. For people who are still <laughs> who are still believing in the genetically modified, but there's a lot of people still out there. For people who are still on the fence about GMOs and fluoridated water, that stuff is banned in other countries. Not only that, is it natural? Does rain fall out of the sky fluoridated? Does, does water that comes naturally from these springs, is it fluoridated? No. Does food growing naturally out of the ground, is it genetically modified? No. This is an example of the battles that exist, that people have gotten so far from nature. Because like I said, the relationship, your relationship to nature is, is part of the war. It's like one of the largest categories of this entire war. And when you are separated, when you, in fact, defend the battles that separate you from addressing that war, nobody can help you but yourself. That's up to the individual and based upon their level of engagement in this reality, which will determine whether or not they fight those battles and conquer those battles or or not. And, and so many people have so many... Uh, layers of density that they have to fight through and realize and uh, for lack of a better word books or phrase books that need to be read before you even engage in those battles before you can fight you have to learn how to fight these battles exist and people are acting like they don't exist and defending the fact that they don't exist. Their facts that they, that they doesn't exist. That's how far we have to go into when you're engaging in a conversation with somebody who is completely in denial of what you're saying. When you're saying stuff like uh, the flat earth, <laughs> when you say that, when you, it hurts people because you've just cut through, you've sliced through layers of skin, layers of muscle tissue, brain tissue, heart tissue, stomach brain tissue, energetic energetic energy energy centers 
tissues. You've just sliced through all of that because their entire reality is based upon that relation. That's a relationship. When people believe in the heliocentric model, that is a relationship to an inorganic nature. It's a, it's a genetically modified relationship to their natural existence. People's natural existence right now, the inorganic natural existence, is the monkey evolution program, is the cosmic mistake Big Bang Theory program, is the gravity program, is the NASA program, is the military industrial complex program, and, and everything that stems from the Colombian era and Western civilization. People are actually defending this stuff. Like I said in the earlier in this video, these battles are being fought all over the place. And they need to be fought in public, like what people are doing on YouTube. When you put yourself out there, you're sharing with people the battles that you're fighting. You're like in earlier in my videos when I was talking about or early in my life when I was talking about, you know, protesting and being a part of the Occupy program and and um, right out of high school going into the army. That's a battle that I was fighting that I didn't even know was part of a war that existed that was so much bigger than, you know, trying to provide for yourself and all that other stuff. The fiat currency system in itself, that's only a battle, too, because that th th all of these battles exist in reference to the war which is the only way you can start to address these wars is when you empower yourself. If you are continually pointing the finger at somebody else as a, a, a villain, you're still engaging in a battle. Now, those battles need to be seen for what they are in order to help people empower themselves. But if you remain locked in the position of battlegrounds without anchoring, anchoring yourself to the depths of realizing the infrastructures of the war for humanity, that's when you're really just adding fuel to the fire of the battlegrounds and further separation when it's, when it's a focus like that. Alex Jones has a focus that says everything stems on everything is about the political program. Everything is about Donald Trump. Everything is about the globalist program. Everything is everything that they're talking about. No difference than like TYT that tells you everything is about getting Bernie Sanders Sanders elected. Everything is about the mainstream media. No, these are factions of battles that have nothing to do with people ultimately empowering themselves by approaching and addressing the so-called powers that be system as a whole. You can see this, like, and I, I use Alex Jones and TYT and even Eric DeBay as reference points to help see how this program works because the way those they engage in this reality in this program is a way a lot of people engage with themselves subconsciously and don't even realize it thinking that they're doing something amazing because you know they they talk about a progressive movement they talk about bernie sanders they talk about uh, the New Age program. They talk about, you know, whatever it is. Alien agenda. They talk about whatever it is. Everybody has something that they are extremely pr proud of. And that makes up who they think they are. And then they share that with people. And then once somebody challenges what they're proud of, then they take offense to that and start to go against you. And that's those are the battles. That's basically the the um, instruction manual for the battleground program. That's what's going on. And the system benefits from that because we consume ourselves with 
locking ourselves, locking away our time. When you consume your, when you consume yourself in the battleground and don't address the war from that perspective, then you are giving away your time and you're giving away your consciousness. And and like I said, it's it's not like a bad thing. It's 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 happening organically. Like people are doing this. It's a natural process to go through the battles to get through to addressing the war. You have to do that. My intention with this video is to real is to help people realize that it's not only about these battles. It's not only about the villains. And if you only focus on that, then you're going to be setting people up for another limitation program just like Alex Jones is doing just like TYT does just like the mainstream media does when it tells you to send your kids to war send your kids to fight this illusory war and they tell you that's the war for humanity fight terrorism this is how the system sells everything back to you and subconsciously you anchor it into your reality as the human program when in fact there is no humanity in this system at all it's based upon inhumanity. It's a monkey evolution program that's based upon nothingness. There is no, they, the, the system has realized, the so-called powers that be have realized the alchemy behind this experience. Time, consciousness, the soul, the mind, the body, nature, and has flipped and reversed and sold this stuff back to us with interest and when that interest adds up because we don't we don't realize that we've been bamboozled that's when the creditors the bankers the the people who installed that illusory interest rate to begin with start to collect they collect on not only your physical reality they connect co collect on your psychological body and your spiritual body this is this is the, the the infrastructure of taking your power back to realizing that we've been locked down fighting the battles on and realizing from the inside out the battles of the physical body, the battles of the psychological body, and the battles of the spiritual body. And activating it from an empowered space. If you just take that information and address it from another battle program, you still got more battles to fight. There's still more battles for you to fight before you start addressing the war. So that's basically what I wanted to share with this video. And like I said, uh, I ain't got no beef with Eric Dubay and anybody else um, who's sharing this information because everything is used as a stepping stone. If you lock yourself into making an idol out of Donald Trump, out of Alex Jones, out of TYT, out of Eric Dubay, out of anybody, if you make an idol out of anybody, then that's something that you allowed yourself to do and you have to get out of on your own that's your responsibility yes people do make money off of tricking people and convincing people into making idols out of them and they make money off of that but like i said each individual is going to have to get through that on their own and realize shit i've been duped i've been bamboozled and a lot of this is happening right now in the conscious community. Everywhere, even the black conscious community. People making idols out of themselves and, and cult-like followings. And stuff like the Flat Earth is removing the infrastructures of those battles. See, when you invest yourself into a cult, when you invest yourself into an idol-worshipping program... You are engaged in a battle that you have said, I have no power. This person has all the power. This idol has all the power. And I can only hope to one day, one day forever until your grave, be like that person. Be like that 
thing and your life is never lived because you never stepped outside of that subconscious battleground which is the disempowered space of giving your experience away to somebody who has said follow me follow this theory follow this symbol follow this idol follow this linear program that's what it is it's all about linear program that's the patriarchal program follow this line which is imbalanced it's one version and people love that shit because they can relate to it because the society itself is based upon lines and there's nothing wrong with lines as long as they are balanced with the non-linear this is the relationship the natural relationship with the divine feminine and the masculine the divine masculine that is not being addressed right now and you can only make a profit off of focusing on one or the other because you once you focus on one or the other and you make and you paint that picture of of wonder and beauty out of one or the other package it up and sell it to a group of people you have now created a a a spell for lack of a better word that's an alchemy that traps people in that mentality it's no different than the mainstream media how the mainstream media affects people hollywood how that affects people the music industry politics politicians conspiracy theorists youtube channels regular youtube channels like these trending youtube channels that's an actual alchemy that locks you into a vibration that keeps you subconsciously fighting battles or looking the other way from these battles all the insecurities that these youtube sensations that are on the trending page have are being downloaded to the people who view the millions and billions of people who who view that stuff every day all of the insecurities and the battles that people are are either ignoring or uh acting like they're not fighting all the insecurities that are that are being uh addressed through social or um, promoted through social media and youtube are being downloaded and accepted by um the the viewer this is the alchemy of social media people are people are downloading from their idols like the kardashians like cash me outside like TMZ, the the people on TMZ, the people on TYT, the people on Alex Jones, the people making these conspiracy theory channels, the people who are making videos about putting on, you know, 10 layers of makeup and all this other makeup tutorials. That's an in, in, inflaming of the materialistic program. This is how deep this this stuff goes. This is and that's setting the, the foundation to a separation from realizing your non-physical nature your relationship to your soul so this is this is how the physical battleground separates you from the spiritual connection and the relationship to nature because you're so locked so locked into the depths of the idolistic artificial ego worshiping program either from a so-called positive perspective of making yourself look beautiful and feeling great and all this other stuff and or the other side of fighting the fighting the power fighting the program let's get these zionists let's get these these uh these people over here let's get these people over there like i said all that stuff needs to be addressed but it's not the only thing that needs to be addressed so as beneficial as social media is we have to also address and realize and actually share how this stuff is um is affecting us and our, this is like i said in many previous videos this is for the children the adults have so much density locked into their reality that a lot of the a lot of them are just not even going to at all face it they're just going to be like you know this is it uh, i'm who i am and that's it don't don't mess with me i got kids all right this is my kids I, everything is about the kids now i don't need to change i know who i am i know what this world's about i've been through this i've been through that this is where all these old heads come in thinking that they they're they're um 
wise, that they have wisdom just because they haven't died yet. There's a difference between being old and being wise. Being old doesn't make you wise. <laughs> all these all these programs that exist that people have to, all these battles that people have to fight to get through to fight this to uh, address this war so yeah and like i said it's largely non-physical it's inside the the real war the real war and battles are invisible they exist inside inside of your energy centers inside of your 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 eyes the way you see the world it's it's all internal in order to address and actually shift that which is external this is why this system is so complex and compartmentalized so you <clears throat> you can focus you you fall in you fall in line to whatever's comfortable for you you either fall in line to the distraction program, you fall in line with the, the protest program, you fall in line with the mainstream program, you fall in line with the intellectual program, you fall in line with um, the defense mechanism program, you fall in line with the insecurity program, you fall in line with the ignorance program, you fall in line with the, the anger program. The just, all of these are all linear battles. Every battle is a linear program. All of these are lines that are not addressed. We won't be allowed to maintain or even achieve that balance until we realize how we've been locked into this web of lines, of battles. So that that's pretty much, uh, I've just been expanding upon different examples of battles and wars. And um, I think I pretty much gave some some good enough examples on 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 what's going on here and uh shout out to um bro sanchez you've been exposed masterpiece uh infinite plane society um nathan oakley everybody who's been showing support to this channel uh, the commenters, everybody for sharing these videos. Like I said, I don't have social media outside of YouTube and Instagram. I don't really use Instagram as much anymore. Um, so anybody who shares these videos, I really appreciate that. Anybody who sh supports the channel, shout out to ODD TV. Shout out to everybody out there who makes videos and who, you know, puts, shares their truth from who they are because it's hard enough to even excuse me tap into that reality but thank you for uh for being on that path being on that journey and having the courage um, to really share that with people and help other people on that journey um Thank you, Lisa, and uh, people who support this channel. I really do appreciate that. Um, yeah, so until, until next time, from all my relations, peace, love, and harmony.